station of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner, primary breadwinner for my family, and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So That's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 314, NASDAQ is up 34, SP is off 20, gold contract up $36, trading $17.59 an ounce. We got silver up 73 cents, $22.22 22 cents an ounce, light sweet crude up 24 cents. $75, seven cents a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note right now up seven ticks, trading at 131.22. 30 year up nine ticks at 159.12 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is down, uh, King Dollar is down 119, 119 ticks, that is. 94.218, Euro 115, yen at 111, and the British pound at 134 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in y'all world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a sideways move in the marketplace. What we have here is that this baby's building cars uh, to basically get down, I suspect, first off into your high volume low that was generated out here a couple weeks ago. That high volume low is uh, 420, 428. Yeah, so we've got the 430. 428 is nothing. We're at 432. I suspect where we're going, though, is at 421. That's in this spy. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX 100? Um, you're up buck 15. You get a sideways move. You're building costs for lower price. You know, the, the NDX, the, the three Qs have already broken that level. That level there is uh, 360.93. And you can see we're trading up a, a buck 11. But if you can't even get into 360.93, that was the low of the high volume low prior to the high volume low on Tuesday. Bottom line, that's that's building cause for lower price. And in this particular case, I suspect we're going to get down to the approximately the 352. That is your ABC structure on the way down. That's your price projection. It's also your swing point from the uh, 19th of July. Looks to me that that's where it's going. Gold. Gold contract finally caught the bid out here. Um, you get the uh, gold contract up uh, 35 bucks, uh, 2%. Nice move in gold, no doubt about that, about time. Um, that being said, what you also have is that it broke the downtrend. Now, you get a couple different things happening. Well, if you remember, um, you know, we're at the end of September, but at the end of August, we got a monster hammer candle inside of the gold contract. And bottom line, that says most times you're going to go higher. That being said, Bottom line, you pull back. You did pull back with light of arm. We rejected the lower price again. This is a nice setup, man. This is a setup saying now we're going to be getting up to this 1836. Right now, you're at 1758. We go into the dollar index. We take a look at the dollar index. What we have inside the dollar index right now is that this baby blew away everything. And, you know, you're still at these highs. So it's going to get really intriguing to see exactly what this dollar wants to do. Because if we take this, I'm going to put this on a three-year weekly. Um, you're going to see, let me put this, mock this in. Okay, so we didn't make it to the highs that were generated out here in, um, that's August, no, it's uh, September of 2020. September 2020, 
That price point is 94,762. We made it to uh, 94,500. Now, what's that number there? 94,302. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you had a small swing out here on November of 2020. You know, I would have rathered if it went a little bit higher. Is, okay, so this is what you have. We did get above a swing right now and below it. You know, we'll see whether that was the test, and that's, that's all she wrote inside the U.S. dollar. Let's go to the euro and take a look at the euro. And I know the yen is going our way inside of the gold market. So the euro isn't doing much. The euro's still down nine ticks. Uh, that's got smoked the last couple of days. We go to the British pound, which also got smoked in a monster way. Um, British pound... Okay, it's trying to come back. It's the yen, and you can see this pretty clearly, man. The yen, you know, and when it does this intraday, it's always intriguing. So we just came down, you know, the yen broke topside yesterday, comes right back inside it, down 59 ticks. You're trading 111, 67. Let me look at this here. Okay, so this is, a, this is wild. Anything under 111.66, man, they're saying you can go back downtown. We'll see how that shakes out. That'll be interesting. So, if we, you just, we just did this uh, update, folks. And I did the update. I mentioned the aspect of uh, this huge trade. Um, and it was a couple questions like, uh, what do you think that will do going forward? Most times, folks, what happens is this. Is that the, the bottom line is that what you have, this is a, a, a put collar spread trade. And that really is a delta neutral trade. The trader is willing to spend $95 million dollars to make sure that if, in fact, we do get a 20% pullback in the S&P, his portfolio or her portfolio is going to not make money, not lose money. That's how, that's how this thing works. Um, you know, so it's, it's pretty wild. And watch, watch what they did here. This is pretty cool. So they bought 45,300 put spreads. And what they did is this, it cost them $94 million. So what they did is that the strike prices, okay, involved had to do with, 40, now this is gonna be on the S&P, okay, where it's 43.33. On the upside, they had, he had a strike price of 45.05. On the downside, he had a strike price of 41.35. Then what he did, or she did, okay, is, so what that would do is this is that they are saying that they think, okay, that we wouldn't go to the high number one, but from where we are right now, it would be saying that, okay, we go up 3%. That's the first part. The second part is the biggest, bigger part of the trade, though. The bigger part of the trade is that if we drop 20%, the bottom line is that this portfolio, you know, will be delta neutral, you know? So they're willing to give up, you know, basically 94 bucks to have insurance, and that's, that's Smart. I think it's really smart. Um, and what they did, this is kind of interesting, too. This is really interesting, actually. Let's put the S&P up. I'm going to bring this up here. Let's bring this up. Because what they did, they put this on right at the 200-day moving average. So let's see where this is. Well, it's right down there. So on the SPY, that's uh, 4... Where is that? 412. That's where they're, they're protecting. They're protecting 412 even lower than that. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the market's open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious tech, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down at 265. You get the NASDAQ uh, up 61. S&Ps are off 13. Uh, let's go inside the Dow Industrials. Actually, let's just go look at the Dow first and where we are set up. Because what you're going to see is that the Dow got a little juice on it uh, yesterday. went sideways. Today, bottom line, you're going after the swing low again. You know, swing low we're talking about is from uh, last week. Uh, that swing low in the Dow is uh, 33,613. We got to 30. 3904 today. Um, this is just going to be a slow bleed, man. That's what it looks like. Uh, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials out here. You have Salesforce is putting 13 positive points, IBM 4, Merck 3, taken away from it. United Health 43, Home Depot 37, Goldman 28. Now, not, none of those numbers are that bad. That's the real bottom line. Um, you know, that being said, <laughs> uh, this is kind of um, the resting place uh, in order to build cars to get the lower price. That's that's why I'm looking at this thing. And what's so intriguing here, of course, is that we're in window dressing. OK, uh, but more than likely, this is going to be window breaking versus window dressing uh, in this particular month. Inside the NDX 100, the strength, you get, uh, no, this is good. That's, well, we're going to pull back to that. Paychecks is up 5.8%. Uh, so we're going to go back to that and see what's going on with paychecks. But that's good for the economy when, that's up, when that stock's up at all. Uh, you get Splunk up 5.7%. NetEase is up 47 And Electronics Arts is up 42 Taken away from it, uh, you get Dollar Tree is down 48 But that, that was up like a monster. Yes, it was up 16% yesterday. Ross stores is off 4.6. You got Walgreens boots off 2.5. Now, let's go back to paychecks for a second and see what we have here. So, the low is 78, the high is 118. This is still good for the economy, man. Bottom line, this is, uh, this is a good move. Okay, so this went back to a break. Look at this, man. They, when they do this, this blows my mind, man. And it happens day, oh, time after time after time. This thing, okay, so paychecks had a high of 118. Your breakout area was like 104 to 106. You came down to 106.68. You did that with volume of uh, 700,000 versus 1.6 million, and then you take off like a rocket ship again. Let me put this in a weekly and see how this is set up. Okay, so what we don't have here is that we don't have a high volume high. What you do have, we had, we had good volume up to 113. So what, what you're gonna have here now, this is, this is gonna go for its highs, man. It might be an ABC up too. Let me just see. So the next time that they come out with numbers is gonna be on September 30th. Oh, that's cool, we're here. 
oh, hold it, did they, they just, that, that's going to be cool if they just come out with numbers. Is that what happened? Okay, so, yeah, they, one second, hold on. Yeah, they, they just came out with numbers. First quarter revenue, let's see. Okay, paychecks reported better than expected results. First quarter payroll process benefit from increased client base and employees returning to work, which prompted the company to raise its full year guidance. Adjusted earnings, uh, 89 cents. Um, versus 63 a year earlier. Yeah, so that's what, that's what you have happening, man. I mean, you know, you know it's intriguing. We, we use paychecks. I've used paychecks forever, and it's a great service. There's no doubt. I mean, yeah, you're paying up for it, but guess what? They, they do all your payroll. They do all your taxes. You're never behind on anything. Um, it's, it's worth it. They do the, 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 your 401ks for you. You know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good service for, it seems like, a very fair value. That, that's what it comes down to. 877-927-6648. Let's go to the GDX and start looking at some of these. Uh, if we take a look at the GDX, what you have out here is that uh, you have 22 million shares. We're going to want to see more volume than that. Uh, it's, it's, trying to be, it's breaking this downtrend, but the bottom line is you, you are going to want to see more volume inside the GDX. If we go to an Eco Eagle, we had an Eco Eagle takeover, um, merge with... Uh, uh, Kirkland, and you're getting some juice out of this now. Yesterday, you got some big juice. It finally stopped moving. And Eco Eagle went from a 49 up to 51. You're at 52.36 today. And of course, for every uh, move on an Eco Eagle, you're going to see Kirkland Lake go up. The ratio, folks, is 0.79. Just make it 0 0.80. So 0 0.80 of AEM is going to equal with Kirkland should be trading at. That's how it works. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's see, uh, DLTR, one of the Tigers. Um, let's see, they're looking for, this is Dollar Tree. Uh, question is, do you expect a pullback into the 93 to 97 area? You're at 95, 64 right now. Uh, the lows, 84. The highs, 120. Uh, this is the thing went up like a rocket ship yesterday. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, you, when you pull back like this, man, um, this can go fill the gap in a second, man, at 80, $87. Never mind 93 or 97. Uh, 93 was the, yeah, this gap can get filled. What, let me just see what this is. So, next time they come out with revenue is November 26. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> get that turkey going, man. Uh, they're looking for 6.4 billion. They're looking for uh, 96 cents to the bottom line. Uh, yeah, my take is that uh, this little baby can uh, get back into that area. Nike, Nike, uh, bottom line is it, Nike is into the gap. This baby's going to fill the gap. And if you want to just, you know, just keep this on your radar so you can see how bizarre this is, folks. How when you have gaps that are this large, once they get into the gap. You know, they just, they just, and this is into the gap, good. The beginning of this gap in, in Nike is 150. You're at 145. To fill the gap is at 134. Um, this is, you know, and, and so picture this. This was at 174. If it actually goes to where I think it's going to go, which is the 134, I mean, could you imagine that? You're talking about, what, 40 bucks? And the reason I'm bringing it up is this. When you have huge runs like this, and then you get a huge gap. You have to be cognizant of when that equity turns. And you, you know you can you can see you can see the turn. Even if you, you don't have to get out with the high. You can see the first turn. We we went down. We get down to 164. The volume went up to 7.3 million after making a high with 4 million. And then you had a counter trend bounce with 3.7. That does it right there. That does it. When you when you see something like that and you get the gap, it's like okay man, it's going to go after that gap. And you know. And the year 2000, okay, so picture this. I was doing a live workshop, and you got to remember, if you were in the market, you know, in the 90s, going up to 2000, I mean, it was wild, okay? So we would do workshops, and I bet there was 150 people there. And people had made a lot of money on paper, huge amount of money on paper. And I kept getting questioned about all these gaps, you know, because there were so many gaps and it was so large. And I say, man, 
Yeah, I think they're going to get filled. Well, bottom line, man, they not only got filled, some of those companies went out of business. So you had companies that, you know, went from $6 up to two or $300. They had monster gaps in them. They all got filled, you know. And you don't, what happens is this. You don't know when it's going to happen. But what I've seen is this. If you get the turn, you've got to be cognizant because the bottom line is that that turn, the risk is way too high if those gaps are too big. They just like going into the film. Dow. Dow right now is uh, down 312. You get the NASDAQ up 38. S&P's off 20. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading at, uh, uh, down to 320. You get the NASDAQ uh, up 32. S&Ps are off 21. So Alta Salon, let's go take a look at Alta Salon for one of the Tigers. And the question is, is it going to go back to uh, the uh, 300 mark? Okay, so we're at 363 right now. The low for the is 200. The high is 414. Uh, they will come out with their numbers on December 2nd. And, um, yeah, this looks to me like lower prices are coming at you. Uh, so, yeah, what you have, we'll put this on a, on a weekly. What you're going to see is that you... I'm going to put it on a monthly, actually, because you, you took out the highs. You took them out with lighter volume. Um, you have, okay, so the, the high that we took out is 368.83. You went up to uh, 3, 414. You're at 363. Now, so picture this. 
We had this is a monthly. We took it out with 16 million, and you were doing 13. Now that being said, now watch this though. You had a high with 13 million. You came downtown with 34, and at 34, you had 355. Okay, you came down again to three to 251, and you had volume out there of 43 million, and then we have a monster high volume low. The high of the high volume low is 269. The low is 124. So it looks to me like you get a failure here. And the first stop on the failure would be 351. If you get into 351, 297 is game. That's how that works. And that's the bar that's going back about six months ago. Let's see. That's the bar from um, March, March of this year. That's how that baby uh, is looking. We go take a look at uh, SKLZ, SKLZ. So this one here, uh, this is part of a play for utility software uh, for all the gaming companies uh, and social network companies. Okay, so the low is at 935, the high is 46. Uh, they, let's see, what kind of revenue these guys have? Okay, so they're expecting uh, 390 million. This year, they expect a half billion next year, but they will still be in a losing position. And let me just look at this. Okay, so okay, this gets interesting. Okay, so when this went public, went public at ten dollars, they did a secondary. Look at this. They did secondary only six months ago at $24. Could you imagine? So check this out, folks. Oh, yeah, this is amazing. So they did a secondary on March 18th at $36. No, at $24. And they sold 36 million shares. It's, it's just, it blows my mind, man. These companies, man, they can just print money like in an extraordinary way on these secondaries. It keeps them alive. I mean, the bottom line is that this is a company that loses money. They got people uh, all riled up, no doubt about that. They, they pushed the stock up. Um, SKLS, SKLZ. There we go. They pushed the stock, the stock up here to the uh, $24 level. Three out. There it is, three, three months ago. They got the $24 level and it was a one-way route on the way down. Okay, so now let's take a look at where we are. Okay, so you broke below 10. You're at 989. What, what I would do is this. Um, the target, they, they're looking for good entry point on this. So I would let this thing, you'd want this to come back inside $10.67. You can see where it is right now. It's, it's like a no man's land. And what happens when you're in no man's land, so what I mean specifically by that, folks, if you happen to be listening to a car versus not seeing the chart, is that it's broken everything, okay? If, you know, if we go back uh, to, you know, basically September of 2020, you know, you see it was a 1067. So when you break everything, most times what's going to happen is you've you got to get back inside that level, and what you want to see Number one, you're going to want to see a rejection of lower price. Then you want to get back in the level with a sign of strength. The sign of strength is wide price spread accelerated volume. Uh, if that's what you get, then you get some action. This one here in particular, this is what you've got to be careful of. I think this is probably was a spark because when I'm looking at this, when I do the issue in info, the sparks always start out at $10. And, you know, this started out at $10. So I think that's a spark. So if that's what it is, you got to watch out for every one of these spots. They were they were the biggest, you know. I suspect, you know, ripoffs out there, and in a continual basis. And everyone, bottom line, not everyone, but a lot of people bought them uh, because they did jump from the ten dollar level to the fifteen to the twenty, very, just like this, like nothing. And guess what? They didn't have any revenue. So, you know, you know what's amazing to me. All of this stuff happens over and over again, folks. I mean, it's like it's like crazy. What, what I and I guess it's that there's always new people coming in the marketplace. You know, it's like it, it's like they think that if you buy something in the marketplace, it has to go up. So picture this, and I've, I've, I haven't said this in a long time, but 
if you think when you're buying a company, would you buy that company with cash and you were actually going to own the company if it was going to lose money? You know, I mean, I'd say most of us wouldn't do that. That's, that's what it really comes down to. Yeah, but in, in the public markets, folks do it all the time on a continual basis. So, you know, we'll see where the rest of this goes. But um, Amazon, let's go take a look at a few of these big dogs, because as these big dogs are basically coming down, you know, it, they'll, they'll set up for a buy at some particular point. Amazon's going sideways today. It's down. It's up 760, 3308. That's not telling us anything. We go to Google. We take a look at Google right now. Google is uh, flat, 2690. That's not telling us anything either. That's that's off the highs now of uh, 2900. We're 26. Uh, Netflix, I believe, was catching a bid. Netflix right now. Netflix up 15 dollars. Same volume, interesting. So the last high at 5.4 million, it says 5.4 million. We had an acceleration in the last two days. Well, this is not a bad setup, man. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the monthly now. This could be trouble, actually. Okay, so on a monthly, that bar has 146 million. Yeah, it is. So watch this. Oh, this is a cool one to watch, folks, okay? Your first high on the monthly, that we go back to July of 2020. 575, you had 252 million shares traded. The next high, 140 million shares traded. This high here, which is the breakout, 81 million. Yeah. Uh, bottom line, um, I wouldn't be chasing this. The, you know, first what would end up ha happening is that it, it would have to get back inside the 593 before that would be a failure. But when you see a contraction of volume that that's dr dr dramatic, it's a, it's a big deal. Because it, 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 watch this, we only have one more day. It's 81 million versus the first high of 232 million. Bottom line, you can see the difference. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Come right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 381. You get the Nasdaq up 14. S&Ps are off 28. And, uh, you know, this is uh, typical, folks, of a market that wants to go lower. And something that you got to remember, all surprises in a market that wants to go lower, folks, are to the downside. Uh, it's just like waking up, uh, whether it was, what, was it, was it yesterday? Uh, that, it, you know, it was the day before, I believe. The market was down big. That's what happens in a market that wants lower price. Um, they, it seems to come out of nowhere, but guess what? It's consistent. It's, it's totally consistent. And that's what we have. If we go take a look at these, uh, first let's go to the NQs because NQZ. So the NQs were trying to hold price. They, they, said they, they tried to hold price yesterday. Bottom line. Can't hold price when people keep selling into it. That's the real bottom line. And we're, the thing that's wild here, so picture this. This is not even people selling shots. This is just people selling, okay? And they should be selling because we're at highs. That's the other side of this, you know? And, and I totally understand that buying the dip has, ha has worked each and every time for so many years. It's amazing, actually, you know? And just like anything else, it works till it doesn't work. Uh, looks to me like we, we do have a, uh, a downdraft that's happening. We we'll go take a look at Microsoft. Let's see how Microsoft is setting up here. A couple of tigers looking at ABC down. Yeah, it's a beauty. Look at that. Okay, we broke the B, broke it with volume. So your A point there is a 305. Your B is a, uh, oh, that's a good one, 289. So we're talking, uh, you get 14 points. Your C out there is uh, 300, so you got what, 284. Uh, oh, well, you're at 282 already. So now the question is, do you get another one? Okay, so Microsoft. See, okay, this is going to be cool with Microsoft then. Let's put this on a weekly. Because Microsoft, picture this. Microsoft was the strongest stock in the NDX 100. And Microsoft is dangerous, man. Man. Microsoft, well, looks like you can go to 242. Yeah, 242, you're at 283. And where I'm going with that, that's the last time we had any real juice in the, on Microsoft. So we'll see uh, if that's where it wants to trade to. You got the low was 199 this year. The high is 305. Uh, they come out with their numbers on the 27th of October. They're going to be looking for 43.9 uh, billion to the top line. They're going to be looking to two dollars and seven cents. Look at these numbers on Microsoft. This is amazing. So Microsoft's always been a great company. Bottom line, five years ago. They did 22 billion. They plan on doing 43 billion next year. They plan on doubling their gross. That's amazing, man. So they double their gross, and to the bottom line, it's more than double. So picture this: when they were doing 96 billion a year, they were making three dollars and eight cents. Well, they plan on doing 191 billion next year, and they plan on making eight dollars and 77 cents. They're still, look at this. It blows my mind how the, a, a company this large can still grow. So they're, they're growing all over the world by 5% a year. 5% a year. That is one monster number. Let's go take a look at the E-minis as we're coming, uh, getting closer to the close out here, ESZ. And what we have inside the E-minis right now, we're down 34 bucks. They're selling the heck out of these things on the way down. And... The low today was 43.04. It's going to go after the low. That's the real bottom line. So watch this. Let's do this. From the lows to the highs. Watch that. This is where you want. What happens, folks, in in markets 
just fast markets in general, and th I'd say this is going to start being a fast market. The Fibonacci sequence works so well, it's amazing. I've talked to Larry about this a, a number of times, and we don't know why they work so well in fast markets, but they definitely, they just, they're more consistent in a fast market. That's what it seems like. They're always good, but they're really consistent in the fast market. So you can see what we did from last night. From last night, we had made a high last night of 43.89. That was just over a 0 0.382 retracement of the bounce that we did. Now, <laughs> that's not a bad bounce, but it's not a great bounce. That being said, bottom line, you're going to go after the lows. And the real kicker is, and this is something that you, if you're trading intraday or on a daily basis, or you're trying to protect the portfolio, you want to keep your eye on this. Because what we have now is this. On the 10 minute of the E-mini, we're at the low, you have about 49,000 contracts traded. So let's picture that, you know, not that you're trading the E-mini, but, you know, overnight, in the morning, you're, you're looking and saying, okay, what's this market doing? If you take that level out and you take that level out with volume, well, that's a monster ABC down, folks, okay? And, you, you know, you're talking about a uh, 84.A to B equals C to D. Now, that 84 point would get you down to uh, 42.60, and we're at 43.16. That's forward looking and that's what I really like about an ABC structure in general it doesn't mean you're gonna get there but what I love about it is that you, when you if you do the numbers you you are clear on if you get a break where it's gonna go if you get a break with volume no doubt then your probability is much higher that that's where it's gonna go so you know that's the way this whole baby is set up right now we go over to the XAU, the HUI, and what I want to look inside the XAU, of course, as well as the HUI, is that um, what type of volume we had yesterday. We don't get the volume until 8 o'clock tonight, and I suspect, you know, we're going to get some juice, meaning heavier volume uh, in the XAU uh, and the HUI. So what we did here, okay, so we came down 26 million, day before is 31, which is good. Okay, so that setup is good on the daily. We put this on a weekly, and on a weekly, we, we've been saying that on a weekly, it's great. That's, that's the bottom line. We've been going into 198 million uh, last week. We did 132 million thus far. Look at this. It's going to be, it was 81 as of yesterday. We're still three days. Even if, it was, even if we did uh, 81, what, what days? That's three days. Yeah, that's cool, man. Okay, 36, 90. 25, that gives a, let's say a buck and a half. No, buck 25. And that would still be less than last week, 132. The 132, we're going into 198. So we're going to get lighter volume. Now, what I want to see inside of the uh, XAU is a close above this 119.31. Right now, you're at uh, 119.16. And what the 119.31, folks, is that is the lows of last week. We go into the Gold Bugs Index. We take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. Gold Bugs Index is up 624. We're 231.16. We put this on a weekly. And, okay, so last week we had 97 million. You're going into 251 million. And thus far, we've done 62. Now, that's not counting today. So that's still saying we're going to do 100 million. And we did 97 last week, and you're going into 251. That's going to be, that one's there. It's going to be a close call. And uh, bottom line, folks, if you haven't test driven yet, the goal report might not be a bad time to try it. We've taken a lot of heat. <laughs> but the bottom line is that uh, this is a nice move out here today. It's real easy to test drive the goal report. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. You hit it, you're off to the races, man. You get, you know, 30 days. It works for you, great. You keep it. doesn't work for you, you get your money back. Dow, Dow's down 460. NASDAQ is off uh, 26. S&Ps are off 40. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down at 462. You get the NASDAQ off 24. S&Ps are off 40. And we take a look at these uh, ETF structures. So what you have here now, folks, is this. Okay, picture. We have a down week. They're closing at lows, they're coming into a Friday. It's a tough situation, okay? Uh, you're down four bucks on the spy, you're at 430. Uh, bottom line, my game is 421. Yeah, high volume low uh, from last week is 428. That's gonna get hit in a second, man. Uh, if we close where we are, I think this will just jump the creek tonight. And more than likely, you'll, you're gonna be down pretty close to 421 versus you know the 430 we're at right now. We do take a look at the uh, NDX one because you got to remember something. Do you remember like what, what, two days ago? Here, let me bring this back up again because we had divergence at the beginning of this, and what the divergence had been is that the spy didn't get hit, nor did the um, Dow Industrials as much as the NDX one hundred. Well, that's they're all in harmony right now, folks. Um, going lower with the juice behind them, meaning they got power behind these moves. We go take a look at the uh, at three Qs. You know, you're at 358. You're losing uh, 98 cents. This is just drifting. That's that's what this is doing. You got it below the swings right now. The swings are 359. Next move down is 352. And 352 is not only a high volume low, it's also the ABC structure on the way down. Uh, and uh, you know, it's something that you want to really wrap your head around here is that this is the time with that when you could get some strength inside the marketplace. We have window breaking versus window dressing. That's what, that's what you're seeing out here. And the more that this accelerates, 
the more selling that you will actually get. That's just kind of how down markets go. And most of the time, they go faster than any of us can realize. And I've already talked about this week about the NDX 100, how fast that can go down. It's, it's just amazing. It blows my mind, actually. It still blows my mind. Love trading it, but it blows my mind. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Great show. Kick into the weekend, man. Nine o'clock in the morning. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks.